much. I don't smoke, so. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's talk about something really good. Oh. No, really, let's get down to it. All right. In the whiz, <laughs> now, are you touring anymore, doing concerts? I'm starting uh, back at the comedy store. I just started uh, Tuesday, last Tuesday. Really? Yeah. Wow. Because... I saw you one night at, uh, they don't, it's not the same name anymore, it's just called the Starwood now. Do you remember the club at uh, Santa Monica and Crescent Heights? Uh, no. No, honest, I don't remember. Yeah, it was uh, a long time ago. What's the, what was the name of it then? I can't remember. Biff's, PJ's. PJ's, PJ's, yeah. PJ's, yeah, yeah, I saw you there. I had a good time. Boy, you were so That's great. That's where it is, because I got to go there tomorrow night to see uh, Marvin Wirth's son. So yeah. I'm glad to know where it is, thank you. <laughs> It's only my job here. I just I can draw a little map for you if you want. Would you? And uh, then I saw you at the Troubadour probably three or four years ago. And I'm telling you, the place was, la you know, just two hours of hysterical comedy. Yes, and then I went on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how you doing, man? Oh, I'll be starting touring again. <laughs> I'm in the whiz. Play Toto? <laughs> Dorothy. Oh. Um, we got that People Magazine article. Maybe we can get some information out of that. No. <laughs> what, do you, what would you like me to say? I mean, well, I'll I'd say like to, anything you'd like. Okay. Let's talk about your performing, All your right. stand-up performing. I'm scared. I just started back, and it's very hard. I haven't worked in a couple of years. How, it's been so two years. So getting your legs back, you know, it's yeah. really hard, as they say. I know you can be off. I feel like if I'm off for two days, I'm a little scared. You should be. <laughs> uh, the comedian. <laughs> um, no, but uh, what what kind of places are you going to play? Uh, I don't know yet. You know, no. uh, about eight weeks it takes to get your stuff together. Mm -hmm. You know, then you start over. But you're really prolific. You have a material coming what? all the time. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> prolific. Can you take something they... for it? <laughs> <laughs> that means you have a lot of children. Yes, I do. <laughs> How many, how many kids do you have? I have five. Wow. Five that I claim. <laughs> and I have, uh, let me see, I have uh, five kids, uh, a horse, and two dogs, and a bird, and a turtle I got for Father's Day. Oh, yeah? You, just recently you got it? Yes. The horse? The horse. No, the, the Bert turtle. Bert gave me a horse, a miniature horse. You ever seen a miniature No. One? He gave me that instead of money for the NBC <laughs> shows. <laughs> 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 does nothing but poo-poo all the time. And steam rises off of <laughs> And I have, I had, I had a Doberman pincher, but someone stole the Doberman, and I'm sure that they can't wait to give it back to me. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably dead now. <laughs> yeah. I got it from a home, you know, a home for dogs? Mm -hmm. uh, he was real scared when I got him, and a friend of mine came over and said, I should call him any moment now. And I said, why? He said, because any moment now, he will be a Doberman. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's no, true. No, it's good. How's your peach tree? My peach tree is very fine. It had apples. <laughs> have you noticed any hanky-panky on your estate? Mm -hmm. I have been noticing a little hanky-panky. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Um, <clears throat> what else you want to talk about? I don't care. You got a hair on your shirt there. <laughs> What's well, a hair shirt? <laughs> Is that a joke? I'm not sure. Maybe you think you're Beckett. <laughs> oh, man, I don't get that, and I feel stupid. <laughs> I know there's something significant. For you. Well, um, can we take questions from the audience? <laughs> no, all I was going to say, that you're very prolific. That's where we were. Mm -hmm. And you really come up with a lot of material uh, constantly, uh, which is a great talent. Thank and how would you answer a question like that? <laughs> well, thank you very much. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so go ahead. Just make something up. Just go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm only kidding. These two <laughs> walked into a bar. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Glenn pulled a Sammy Davis and knocked oh, his no. drink over. Oh, God. This is really nice, though, and relaxed. It is. It's very nice. And uh, I don't know if you remember this, but I introduced... I mean, I'm sure you don't. But uh, I introduced myself once. It was about four years ago at the Improv in New York. 
You no, were. I remember introducing myself to you in the hallway once. We were here together. You were doing. You were. Burt Reynolds was hosting. You were a friend of his, and you introduced me to Burt Reynolds. I don't know Burt Reynolds. Oh. Oh, that was Chevy Chase. <laughs> this is all in fun, and you know that. Huh? <laughs> No, Chevy's a great talent. You were there, though. You did introduce Don't you remember? No, I don't know Bert. I really don't. But you would, you uh, I don't think I do. You said hi and stuff. I did? Well, I would have. But I introduced myself to you once at the improv. You were going to go on, I think, one night. Mm -hmm. and, Bud uh, Friedman's place. Yeah. In New York. Mm hmm The improv. Yeah. I met you there. Came up and introduced yourself. You yeah. remember? You remember that. About four Not, years ago. Yeah. You know. I don't remember that. All I remember is back here with Bert. I just, I just found oh. out something. You want to know what makes my jokes? Ask me what makes my jokes funny. What? Timing. Your, your jokes funny. <laughs> timing. I thought it was timing. Ti timing. 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 So you owe me five dollars. You're right. You don't have your wallet. <laughs> no, I don't. You know I you owed Richard owe five dollars. Well, we made a, a mental, he made a mental bet at Vegas at the crap table and lost his mind. And I had, I owe him the bet. Now, what would he bet on? We bet on a football game. Oh, right. I knew it. Let's bust them. Gambling. <laughs> we got him to admit it. You owe me five dollars. My team won. All right, uh, let's call it a draw. <laughs> <laughs> that works out pretty good. I know y'all my life for beat you out of it. Beg pardon? <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed it. I was listening to him. Oh, he yeah. wasn't saying anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I heard you, and I turned like this, and I talked. So you're at the comedy store now? I mean, tonight? You're going to work there tonight? Not tonight. I'll work tomorrow and up to Sarah, Sunday. Yeah. You know, and I, I, Is it announced? I mean, in the papers no, or anything? No, no. Yeah. It's because I'm just woodshedding. Oh, I see. Well, it'll be crowded from now on. I mean, now that it's out, maybe, that you're working there. Maybe not. Are you, where do you go when you want to, like, warm up or rehearse or something? I, you know, uh, spot? no, I never, never rehearse. Are you working in town anywhere? I'd like to see your act. Well, I'm a comedian. I know that. I know that. No, I mean, I'm I'll not be being at the facetious. Universal Amphitheater. When? Oh. Uh, <laughs> September. September 9th, I think, for 10 days or nine days. I'd like to see days. you as possible. Well, Please. I can get you a seat. Would you? <laughs> Paper said it was sold out. I can stand I can backstage. Get him a seat. <laughs> no, I'd like to see you. Why don't you come on and do 20 or 30? I've a lot of beautiful things about your work. Really? Uh -huh. Thank you. But you've never seen me before live. Not live, no. Yeah. I mean, now, yes. I mean, okay. Well, this is basically what I do in the concert hall. <laughs> Sit down, have a desk, get a panel with some friends. And... Drives them crazy, I mean. That's good. Well, you got my lighter over there. <laughs> That's Johnny's lighter, of course. Okay. Thank you. I mean, light that way, you got it going, OK? Yes, sir, thank you. Well, we got a lot in common, really. We're two stand-up comedians, right? We should be able to reveal something about performing. Do you have a tough time performing if, if the audience is very rowdy? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. I have a tough time performing, period. Mm -hmm. I, well, I know, because I agree. I, I'm a very, I get very nervous until I know what I'm doing mm -hmm. because audiences can turn on you. And never, they never build an exit on stage. You know? <laughs> <clears throat> and you have to work without a net. You know? Yeah. And so there you are. You're up there. How long, how long is your show? It depends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well. Sometimes it goes 20 minutes, sometimes an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's what uh, I do. Sometimes. Do you ever do an hour and a half worth yeah. of material in 20 minutes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. You can, if, if Even the audience is not with it, they'd be talking about. <laughs> George Goble called it the trout look. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a, an interesting phenomenon you can do. Uh, let's say if you're working like constantly for two months, I mean, you really, I personally fall into a routine, you know, and you, really, you really know the act. Mm -hmm. And you can go out and do the same act, and it'll be 10 minutes shorter one night 
mm -hmm. or 10 minutes longer or yeah depending on how much you add rhythm and stuff gets yeah. you going. you ever do two shows a night yeah. like and forget you say did i say this mm -hmm. already <laughs> have i done this and you be right in the middle of it and you go oh lord <laughs> I've done this, I know I've done that, but they, if they don't laugh again, because some people go, you did that! Yeah. <laughs> just want to see if he's listening, yeah. that's what I yeah. see. You're losing your mind? <laughs> you did that two times! Yeah, I've done that, the same, same joke twice in the same show. Oh. You go, and there's no, you don't get the laugh that's usually there, and you have to say, did I say that already? Uh-huh. You ever done five shows? What's the most shows you've done in a day? When I worked at the Apollo, I think 27. Was, <laughs> <laughs> I used to work at the Apollo Theater. You worked the Wino show. That was a, that's the first show in the morning. That's when the reviewers would come. The Winos would be the reviewers. <laughs> they'd check you out, and then they'd go in the streets and tell other people, you know. The show was OK. <laughs> he gave me a half pint. <laughs> So five, I think maybe five is the most shows yeah, I've ever Yeah, me too, done. I think. And where'd you work five shows at? Uh, New Year's Eve one night at a club in Kansas City. At one night? Yeah. At the Van, then it was called the Vanguard, and it was a New Year's Eve, and I mean, like, in those days, it was sort of normal. You say, okay, your first show will start at 8, and the next show will be at 9.30, and then uh, we'll do one at 11, and then we'll do one at 12, and then we got one at uh, 2.30, and then we'll do the 4 o'clock show. I did it. I did a show New Year's one time in Las Vegas, and I did the show in German. <laughs> because the people, it didn't matter what you said, they were yeah. making... Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> so I just... <laughs> I had that happen once in Aspen. But what about your... I'm working Vegas next uh, Thursday. Good. And thank you very much. You know? Do you play blackjack or anything? You gamble at all? Not really, no. no. Uh, I put a limit. I said the two, three million, and that's it. I'm not... <laughs> But you had experiences uh... in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. I got you know. I gambled there once, and they send you the nicest letters, uh, you know, from Caesar's Palace. With the organization would appreciate it, and fund the money that you lost. <laughs> and you get a check out right away. You know? <laughs> Everyone uh, thinks that they give you gambling chips for entertainers who can go out and no. do that. No, I worked Vegas, and I never thought I was going to make it because I couldn't get in debt. <laughs> you know, I thought you could get, yeah. they put you in debt, you know. If then you, you have to work there for 50 years, right? Yeah. Right. And once again, Richard Pryor, he's 87 years old. <laughs> okay, we got to go to commercial, we'll be right back.